The geometry constraint is quite similar to the constraint which we saw earlier, which is the closest to point. For you to achieve the geometry um, constraint, all you have to do is just simply click on the main geometry which you want the object to be constrained to. Click on the object you're constraining, go to the constraint tab and click on the geometry. Now we're just going to make sure that the weight is up to 1 and then we're going to simply hit apply. Now that we've applied this, you find out that this object is only going to travel within the environment of this uh, or within the constraints of this particular object. It is very similar to the previous constraint which we looked at which is the closest point and is also similar to the point on poly but the only difference is this object is the only thing that you can control so you can attach a controller to this and also control this object another cool feature with this is if this object moves away this other object is constrained to it and is bound to follow it so as i'm pushing this object back and forth you can also notice that this object is still bound to follow it so we have another example here which we're also going to look at i'm just going to go ahead and just bucket this and reveal this other example and now i'm going to go ahead and select this big mesh and then select this uh, tiny boat which we've been using and go all the way to geometry constraint and just simply apply and say okay and now you can see that once i start dragging this object all the way back or i start pushing this object all the way forward you see it begins to adapt and travel along the axis or on along uh, this object so if i push this object all the way backwards or take it all the way upwards you see that object is constrained and now you can see how much it uh, banks and flows within the object as it uh, meets all the bumps that is attached with it so this is a great way for you to start uh, playing with this stuff and if you have questions about this please put them in the comment section down below if you love this tutorial please don't forget to like and also share with your friends and until i see you guys next time peace